All right, yo, yo, what's up, everyone? Uh, in this video, I, I know I said I was going to do a video on Newsboat, and uh, it's a terminal RSS feed client, and I am doing that. In fact, this is this is the video. But I realize there are probably a bunch of my subscribers who, due to their a few years, um, which isn't a bad thing, might not necessarily know anything about RSS feeds, or they might not know exactly what they're for. You've probably seen, you have probably seen uh, something that looks like this, this little logo here. Uh, that's the RSS feed logo that appears on different sites that have RSS feeds. Um, but just to be clear on what it is, so the idea, I mean, you know what a Facebook feed or a Twitter feed is. Um, where you get updates from different people and the idea of RSS feed which you know predated both but the idea is basically have a Facebook feed but without Facebook you know it's like a botnet free way of getting updates or the idea is you know there are a bunch of different websites there are a bunch of different people who have a bunch of updates at all given points of time and it's nice just to have one format for them they they keep an RSS feed they make updates to it and you have an RSS feed reader which is looking Looking at that URL and updates based on that. Um, that that's the idea behind it. So it's a way of keeping updated without having to open your browser and go to the 20 sites you care about or you know have some kind of enormous social media account where everyone knows what you're looking at and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, um, uh, I have an RSS feed just to give you an idea how it looks. Uh, you can go to my website and click on the RSS feed logo. Um, now depending on what browser you use it might just show up as a bunch of text it might show this is a firefox derivative so it's going to look like this um, but it actually doesn't matter what it looks like in a browser because they're not really supposed to be viewed in browsers you're really supposed to take the url either from the url bar or just right click and copy url and put it in, the, in an rss feed reader and this is going to appear um, well, actually, I might as well go ahead and show you what it looks like in Newsboat. Um, so Newsboat, of course, is a, a terminal client for uh, viewing RSS feeds. It's pretty lightweight, very extensible. Um, let me go ahead and open it up. So here I have a bunch of the feeds I'm subscribed to, and I have a whole bunch more lower down here. Um, but uh, so if I look at... So again, this is what this looks like in Firefox. Now, if I open up my RSS feed, which is here at the top, you'll see that each of the entries are, you know, basically just different items here. Actually, I'm going to turn on scroll lock just so you know I, I do have, you know, Vim bindings on all this stuff. So I can scroll up and down here, and each one of these, uh, it's basically an XML file, uh, and it reads each entry as, you know, uh, a blog post in a way. Uh, so each of these are viewed as units. So every time I update my RSS feed reader, uh, it's going to go look for this file on my website. It's going to see if there's a new entry and download it. Um, all right. So anyway, um, what about Newsboat? Uh, so again, here's the here's the basics of Newsboat. Let me pull up the config for it. Um, so the config is dot newsboat slash config. Um, and I, my, the stuff I have here, most of it is like Vim-like bindings and different bindings that I, I happen to like. I do change the colors as well, and I'll talk about th this stuff in a little bit. Um, uh, but just so you know, if you want to know how to install Newsboat, you really just install it how you run any other program. With one, there's one additional thing you have to do for it to run, and that is you have to have a um, Newsboat slash URLs file. So if I open up this file, uh, this URLs file, this is all the RS, these are all the RSS feeds that it's looking at. So if I scroll down here, actually each line here is equivalent to each of these entries here in the correct order. Um, so you'll see that my RSS feed is here, um, and then I have a whole bunch of other stuff down here. Um, so in order for Newsboat to uh, load, you need to at least have one RSS feed. Uh, you're welcome to copy, copy mine or anyone else's, but it doesn't matter. Um, also notice some, some stuff here. You can tag uh, different RSS feeds. So I tag like TW for Twitter, Twitter accounts, YT for YouTube accounts. And when you're in Newsboat, you can press T and it'll show you a link of those tags. So if you want to categorize things, that's allowed as well. Uh, it's pretty easy to do that. And also if the uh, account doesn't have a good name, if the feed doesn't have a good name on it, or you need to rename it for whatever reason, or you just want to keep it different, 
uh, you can throw in a, something in quotes with a tilde at the beginning, and that's going to be, so this one, for example, uh, I rename with a, a tilde. So that, that's really all you need to know about the URL file. Um, after that, it's really just uh, to you know really get a lot of bang for your buck out of Newsboat, it's really just adding in the URLs that you actually, or the, the RSS feeds that you're actually gonna use. Um, okay, so let me talk about uh, the more extensible part of, of Newsboat. So again, as most terminal clients, it's it's supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be lightweight. You're not supposed to be thinking about it that much. Uh, I've made mine nice and Vim-based. Um, but how, so how do I go about actually like using the content here? Well, first, um, there, there now there are some kind of RSS feeds that are just gonna be like blog posts. So for example, this one right here, Razib Khan's, uh, I think his is based on basically like a, a blog spot. Uh, or something like that, and it automatically compiles into an, an RSS feed. So if I open this up, it more or less looks like it, the blog post or something like that. Um, now, there, uh, since it's a terminal client, it doesn't put images in, in line by default, um, but what I actually have is you can set a URL viewer. Uh, now, I had a video a little bit ago on the program URL view, and what that does is, uh, well, I'll just show you, I can run it with I have it mapped to capital U here. That takes you, it gives you a list of all the different URLs um, and you can click on one you wanna open. I have a link handler that'll open things in different ways. So this will open up, you know, whatever you know thing you tell it to or something like that uh, with whatever program you want. That it more or less has to be set in your link handler or however you, however you do it. Um, also, so the stuff down here, um, you also have the ability to open up links, like the link up here, each RSS feed is gonna have some kind of link. Um, you have the choice of opening that in an external program. Now, by default, um, Newsboat is a little weird because you can't just say, I want, uh, you know, I want these five different programs and I want, uh, you know, different shortcuts to open them with these programs or something like that. Um, so what I, I what you actually end up doing, and this is actually in the Arch Wiki. I mean, it's basically the official way of doing it. Is you can open things with your browser, which I set to my link handler by default. Um, but if I want to open something in like W3M, what I have to do is set it manual, set my browser to W3M, open it, open the link in the browser, and then set it back to whatever my other browser was. So if I want to open this in W3M, which again is just a uh, terminal. Uh, web browser this gives you me a more clean thing where I can click on the links and stuff like that um, it's basically works just like any other browser um, I also have uh, MPV so let's say let me go to um, you know some YouTube channel so if I am here and notice I have this map to comma V um, all of these macros are preceded by comma by the way but if I go to this link, uh, or even if I'm just hovering over it here, and I press comma V, that is going to bring up the video in MPV. Um, and it's going to open it through i3, just so if I close Newsboat, I think that the video should remain persistent. So I can have this here, and that, that's uh, nice. Um, but anyway, uh, so that, that's basically opening links, how, how you can use different programs and stuff like that. Um, so other things, uh, updating the RSS feed uh, or the RSS feeds. So keep in mind that each one of these is just a different file on the internet. And the RSS feed reader has to check those if you want to get constant updates. Now you can uh, set this setting up here, auto reload to yes. Uh, I actually don't have that. Now what this is gonna do is it's going to automatically load every feed when you open Newsboat. I don't necessarily like that. Um, now inside of Newsboat you can uh, basically download an RSS feed by pressing uh, R and it's gonna check for that particular link or you can press capital R and it loads all of them. Um, but I, the way I actually like to do it is have it in have a cron job for it. So if I go to my cron tab, uh, you will see that um, every 20 minutes I have it automatically run this command newsboat x reload and that just basically reloads um, uh, it downloads all the new URLs and stuff like that in the background it doesn't open anything up um, which is pretty nice um, so that that's all you need to know about updating so you can basically either manually do them or just have it uh, have it do it in the background um, now, aside from that, I should say that uh, you know I can open up my URLs um, here, 
Uh, again, this is just the newsboat slash URLs file. And again, this is where you put each line is, each line here is just an entry um, that you have in your RSS feed reader. Um, but there are some sites, so YouTube, you just sort of have to know this. If you want a YouTube video, for example, you have to put it in this format here, or excuse me, a YouTube channel. Um, where you have youtube.com slash feed slash video XML channel ID equals blah blah blah. Um, that means you have to look up the actual channel ID for a, a channel, which is sort of a pain. There are a couple different ways of doing that. Um, it, it's sort of a pain because YouTube doesn't actually like just put a link to the RSS feed. Um, like on the that would actually be really helpful. But all you have to do if you want to get that is you know let's just click on one of my videos, and you can go. Uh, right click and say view page source and if you just search here for channel ID that's probably yeah so it's gonna give you my channel ID um, just as long as you don't get it confused with like some other channel that's advertised on the, the page or something like that um, now I will say this actually was on the form uh, either yet today or yesterday uh, and you can also, if you have something like YouTube Viewer, you can actually just run this command here. I actually tried it and it works. Um, you can just uh, uh, take this and put in a video URL and it'll automatically extract the channel ID and you can throw it in here. Um, so that's how you do YouTube links. Uh, Twitter is the same way. Twitter doesn't automatically have RSS feeds, but there is this site, uh, twitrss.me. Uh, if you just go to that, it allows you to like activate uh, an RSS feed for a Twitter, and you can just throw the URL on that, and that works fine. Um, so yeah, uh, th so th that's about it. Um, I think uh, I feel like we talked about everything. I'm a little confused. I actually recorded this video before and like uh, didn't get all the stuff I wanted to get in, so now I'm like confused what I said and what I didn't say. But anyway, so that, that's about it. Um, it's really nice using one of these just because you don't have to worry about constantly, uh, you know, checking different sites or something like that. Or, uh, you know, it's very, again, it's very lightweight. It's very usable. I can basically, I mean, this is how I really watch all the YouTube videos I watch, more or less. Um, which it actually, since you only have the feeds you specifically ask for, it's a little less distracting than watching on YouTube. So, I mean, it's not to say I don't, I don't actually watch it on the site ever, but, um, you know, this is nice for like watching the stuff that I know I'm going to end up watching in different ways. Um, all right. So that, that's about it. hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be having more videos soon. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time.